Councilman Peduto, you don't have an opponent in the May primary. Why even run a campaign? Because this campaign's not about May. It's not about November. It's about building an organization even bigger than we've had in the past. Uh, people that believe in progressive ideals, fiscal discipline, and the ability to reform government. Um, there's a lot of people out there. We want to give them a home. What problem do you think is important one face in your district and how will you solve it? One of the big issues that makes District 8 unique is that we have a lot of development happening and you really have to be able to balance. We understand that the Ed and Med communities are really right now the lifeblood of our economy. But at the same time, we want to be able to capture and keep the quality of life within our neighborhoods. Balancing that in creating a community-based development system for the East End is one of the top issues right now facing us. He's right, Lady Elaine. Do you favor bidding no-bid contracts in city government? Lady Elaine, you know, you know me. I'm, I'm the person that brought the pay-to-play mm -hmm. politic issue to city government mm -hmm. in the good sense. Um, not only don't I support no-bid contracts, I'm writing legislation so that we make it part of the law that no bid contracts are taken away. It was announced that the pension fund could be extinguished in seven years. What plans, if any, do you have to save workers' pensions without overburdening taxpayers? Well, I was talking to King Friday last week, and it seems that in the land of make-believe, the uh, pension fund is also a problem there. It's also a problem all throughout Pennsylvania. What we have to do is we need to create a municipal pension fund for all of Pennsylvania's municipal employees. And at the same time, we have to stabilize ours which means an infusion of money, which means redoing our five-year plan, and at the same time changing the pension program for new employees, not those that have already been promised what they should receive. But whether you live in the land of make-believe or in Pittsburgh, the pension problem isn't going away. He's got my vote, Lady Elaine. So, Bill, Permanis or the Owl? Boy, Ellie. Um, that's a really tough question. Um, Permanis. Aren't you going to ask me about my trolley idea from Hazelwood to Lawrenceville? No? Nope.